video is one of the many tools in the Wavelength Tech Support Toolbox. We'll help you quickly set up the WTCP temperature controller on its evaluation board and determine the optimal settings for your application. First, download the WTCP eval component configurator software from our website and run it. Under thermistor parameters are the ABC coefficients of the thermistor you will use to sense the temperature of your load. These coefficients come from the Steinhardt Hart equation and default to typical numbers for a thermistor that reads 10K ohm at 25 degrees C. If you are using something other than a 10K ohm thermistor, go to the Sensor Configuration tab and follow the on-screen instructions to determine your thermistor coefficients. The next section details several operating parameters specific to your application. Upper and lower temperature limits should be in a narrow band of about 20 degrees C around your set point. The set point is the temperature you want your load to settle at long term. The cooling and heating current limits should be below the damage threshold specified in the thermoelectric manufacturer's data sheet. The voltage limit also comes from this data sheet. Check the box, I plan to use the WTCP eval board. Click Calculate to determine the starting point for setting up the evaluation board. Record these required settings values or print the page for later use. This quick start assumes the set point will be generated locally on the eval board and that it will be set up for single supply operation. Move two jumpers to the local position and two jumpers to the thermistor position. Make sure J4 and J5 are installed. Install the WTCP on the evaluation board observing ESD precautions. Note the notch on the silk screen matches up with the wings of the WTCP. Now you need a multimeter that can read resistance and voltage. Initially, set it to read resistance. Without power to the eval board, we'll set the values to properly bias your thermistor, R1, R2, and R3. Make sure the thermoelectric and thermistor are not connected to the eval board. Attach the common terminal of the multimeter to the test point TP123. This will remain for the duration of setting R1, R2, and R3. Attach the positive lead of the multimeter to the TP1 test point. Rotate the potentiometer labeled R1 until the value calculated for R1 in the required settings is reached. For our demo, R1 needs to be 14.2 K ohm. Repeat this for R2 and R3, moving the positive lead to TP2 and TP3 respectively. Now, attach a plus 5 volt power supply, either to the 2.5 mm power jack or to the terminal strip PVDD and P ground ports on J3. Set the controller switch to operate. Set the multimeter to read volts. Connect the negative lead to any test point labeled A ground. Connect the positive lead to the ILIM cool test point. Rotate the ILIM cool potentiometer until the value calculated for ILIM cool in the required settings is reached. Repeat the potentiometer adjustments for VLIM, ILIM heat, and T set, moving the positive lead to the respective test points. Next, the tuning parameters need to be set at good starting points. We suggest the following, found on the Quick Start page of the datasheet. Note that the switch position is indicated by the line perpendicular to the face. To observe the controller operation, it is ideal to have three multimeters and one oscilloscope. This is what we have set up. First, connect the red lead of the thermoelectric to the Tech Plus port of terminal strip J3. Connect the positive lead of one multimeter, set to amps, to the black lead of the thermoelectric and the common lead of the meter to the tech minus port of terminal strip J3. This puts the meter in series with a the thermoelectric so you can see exactly what current is flowing. Set the second multimeter to monitor the set point voltage. The negative lead goes to any A ground test point. The positive lead clips to the T set test point. Set the final multimeter to monitor the actual sensor voltage. The negative lead goes to A ground. The positive lead goes to the temp mon output on terminal strip J7. To see the actual temperature signal vary in time, 
connect the oscilloscope probe to these two points as well. Set the oscilloscope display to 500 millivolts per division with a 4 second sweep time. Finally, hook up the thermistor to the sensor in plus and sensor in minus ports on terminal strip J7. For this demonstration, we've chosen a set point of 1.7 volts. For our 10K ohm thermistor, this voltage is slightly above ambient room temperature. The actual temperature multimeter at 1.3 volts shows room temperature to be about 30 degrees C. To enable current through the thermoelectric, move the output switch to enable. Temp mon floats high until the enable switch is turned on. We observe the oscilloscope trace drop to the actual temperature, then rise to match the set point. Once it reaches the set point, the temperature levels off. The meters show that set point temperature and actual temperature match. The current through the ammeter initially rose to the limit current level and then stabilized at a steady state value. Now, just for fun, let's hit the load with some free spray and see what happens. As you notice on the scope, the actual temperature plummets as the free spray hits the thermistor. Note that with a negative temperature coefficient thermistor, resistance increases as temperature drops, but the circuitry inverts this, so voltage and temperature increase or decrease together. Then the temperature starts climbing back up as the controller drives current to match actual temperature to the set point. Once it reaches the set point, there is a little bit of an overshoot, but then it comes back down and stabilizes to the set point. To minimize the overshoot or time to temperature, a tuning process is detailed on page 16 of the WTCP datasheet. All this time, the current to the thermoelectric is going up and down to try to drive the actual temperature to the set point. As you can see, it stabilizes beautifully. The circuit is doing exactly what it is designed to do. Once you have tuned your system using the evaluation board, Wavelength can provide a smaller board with fixed value resistors and capacitors to duplicate your settings. Contact technical support and ask for the WTCP OEM system integration board. There's more detailed information in the WTCP PWM temperature controller datasheet. Our website also has tech notes, app notes, and FAQs. Our goal is to help you succeed. If you have any questions, Contact our technical support engineers. Consider us an extension of your team.